Hello people, this Beijing girl is right back at you today and this time I'm actually going to show you how I, not anybody else, how I make my rice and peas. Everyone has a different way of making it. I'm going to give you a few tips. Today, actually, I am making red kidney beans in my rice and peas. You can get them like this in a package or you can buy them in a can which is really easy and that's the one that I'm going to be using today. In Barbados, where I come from, we actually love our pigeon peas and they're green like this. You can get this in any Asian shop. I've seen this as I, before as I said in Tesco and yeah you can get this also in a can like this and it will say pigeon peas green pigeon peas or we do this a lot gunga peas this one is in salted water so to cook your rice you can use any of these the rice i use is this one here easy cook rice it's long grain easy cook rice when it's carnival taste you don't have to get this but as long as you get a long grain rice easy cooked rice that is all you will need my ingredients that will go with that today is going to be this I've got a chicken stock cube which I'm going to use I told you I love it if you are a vegetarian just use a vegetarian stock cube I've got my onions chopped up i'm using one clove i'm not chopping it it's going to go in there just as it is i've got four whole cloves which you will take out after i've got my spring onion i'm gonna put that got some thyme my lovely scotch bonnet pepper piece of green pepper which i love and again here we go again if you are a vegetarian, you don't use this. In the Caribbean, in Barbados as well, we love our, we call it salt meat. It's pork and it's salted and it brings a really good flavor to, for me to any rice dish. If I'm cooking this for somebody because of a religious reason or if they're vegetarian, I don't add this. This is 100% pure cream coconut and it also gives flavor to your rice it's a I use about a tablespoon I put this in my fridge so it's really really hard so I take it out like that and I, it's roughly about one tablespoon and there's my olive oil so these are all the ingredients that you will use if you're making rice and peas today as I said I am doing my rice and peas using this but usually, I love my pigeon peas. Okay, here we go. About a tea tablespoon, sorry, of olive oil in my pan. That's what I need. And when that is heated a little bit, just let it heat up a little bit. I'm going to add my onions, let those brown. I'm going to put in my three, four, sorry, I've got four whole cloves, which you will take out at the end. I'm going to add some thyme. Thyme is great flavour for that. I'm going to add this, a piece of green pepper. It's all about the flavour, guys. My salted meat. As I said, you don't need to put that. But I do in mine, unless I'm cooking it for someone else. Who, you know, does not need to use that. I'm going to turn that down a bit because you don't want it, even though you want it brown, you don't want it too brown. Okay, that is, I think that's brown enough for me. 
And what I'm going to put in there now is my stock cube. If I don't have rice that's flavored, I'm not a happy person. This goes in, that's my spring onion, whole. And the flavor that goes in this is gonna punch. Don't watch your cooking with rice. Do not stir too much to break that. And finally, I'm gonna add that cream of coconut and I'm going to keep stirring. So let that cook a little bit more. And while that's cooking, I'm going to put in three cups of water and let that boil. So I'm going to put three cups of water. Okay, you've added your three cups of water and you let that boil. Because it's got the salt in me, you don't need a lot of salt. So I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of salt to that, a little lot, and that's that. And I'm going to turn that down, and I'm going to let that cook for about half an hour, or 30, 40 minutes the most. So I'm going to cover it, nicely cover it, and then, sorry. And then I'm going to leave it to boil for, as I said, 30 to 40 minutes. And just to say, I'm back at you, it's still boiling. If you were cooking the frozen peas or the, the red kidney beans in the packet, you would put that in here at the same time because that needs a longer time to cook. But because I'm cooking the tin ones, I don't have to put them in right now. Okay, so here is my cup of rice, one cup of rice, and I'm about to add this, but I'm going to wash this. I wash my rice all the time in a bit of salt. Okay, here goes the final part. Can you see that? I am now going to add the rice that I have washed. Not what I said, I've washed my rice. I always wash my rice. And that's what you need to do. Okay, and when you've added your rice, then you add these peas. Add them all in, right like that. And keep it boiling and give it a good old stir. Now what you want to make sure is that you, can you see this? Can you see that pepper? Can you see my scotch bonnet? It's still whole. That's what you want. And what you want as well is that the rice is covered with water. Not too much. So it's just about there. And you cover it. Turn it down really, really low and keep checking on it as it cooks. So whilst it's like this now, I'm going to turn this down. The water has covered this. I'm going to cover this right down. I'm going to turn my stove down to the lowest that I can get it. Right all the way down. Can you see? All the way down. And then I'm going to let my rice cook. Okay, I've taken off the cover. Rice. This is absolutely it's finished packed with flavor and you can have this with any kind of meat any kind of meat with gravy because it's so tasty you can just have it by itself if you want but yeah that is rice and peas the carrion b and whey and as i said you can do this with any other peas thanks for watching i'm going to have some meat dishes to go with this in another vlog take care bye